Things are looking a little bleak in the UK. People are working multiple jobs and still having to make a choice between heating and eating. Food banks are seeing ever-increasing numbers of starving Britons flooding through their doors. And prices have been predicted to reach apocalyptic levels. Fortunately, help is available. The Conservative Party, ever the bastions of caring for your fellow man, have been dropping pearls of wisdom so that we may all find ourselves free of this cost of living crisis. Here are some of their top tips. Tip number one, learn how to cook and or budget. Tory MP Lee Anderson, recipient of an £84,000 salary, had this cutting insight into the reasons why people are finding themselves in need of food banks. In this country we've got generation after generation who cannot cook properly, they can't cook a meal from scratch, they cannot budget, the challenge is there. He finished off by saying that at his local food bank, they can teach you how to cook a nutritious meal for just 30 pence. That's a real bargain, especially if, like Anderson, you're earning 40 pence every minute you're at work. Tip number two, work more hours or get a better job. If the thought of learning how to budget made your stomach turn, Safeguarding Minister Rachel McLean has a far more palatable opinion. Just earn more money. We need to have a plan to grow the economy and make sure that people are able to protect themselves better, uh, whether that is by taking on more hours or moving to a better paid job. McLean, it's worth mentioning, on top of her £80,000 salary, claimed over £213,000 on expenses last year. Perhaps she used that, along with Lee Anderson's advice, to make 710,000 meals. Who can say? Tip number three, ditch the name brand products. George Eustace, the Environment Secretary, who definitely knows how much a loaf of bread costs, why would you even suggest that he doesn't, thinks that we should stop spoiling ourselves with name brand products. Generally speaking, you know, what people find is that by going for some of the sort of value brands rather than, uh, you know, own branded uh, products, they can actually sort of contain and, and manage their household budget. A revelation that will no doubt have people across the nation slapping their foreheads in disbelief that they're not thought of this sooner. Tip number four, rent out your granny annex. This tip comes from Tory MP Jackie Doyle Price. Again, that no one had thought of this sooner is absolutely mind boggling. We should all just rent out our granny annexes. We can incentivise granny annexes. We can make sure that young people have got some hope by having greater access to, 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 to the wealth in their parents' home. If somehow you're in the frankly unimaginable situation that the house you own doesn't have an annex that is going unrented, the Tory solution should be clear. Just buy a house with a spacious annex. Tip number five, become a Tory MP. By now it should be obvious that the way to avoid the pinch of this cost of living crisis is to become a Tory MP. With a salary of over £80,000 and average yearly expenses of £200,000, there is no better way to insulate yourself in these difficult times.